Here at Native Music Enthusiasts, we love the Native American Wood Flute, and we love creating compositions that, one, help you build skills, two, increase your musical toolkit, and three, help you improve as a player. If you're interested in learning new techniques and new tricks that perform better, as well as seeing new compositions, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos in your home feed as soon as possible. Thanks for checking us out. Hi, I'm Enoch Chapman, and this is my etude number five for the Native American wood flute focusing on the lower hand entitled The War Council Plans. If you want to stick around at the end of the performance, I'll talk about some teaching instructions that might make this piece a little bit better. But for now, please enjoy this work. So this song is really about that eighth note rest and trying to incorporate it inside of our tool set so that as we play, we can have something that goes and break away from always having to play on the beat. Because sometimes that just gets a little bit uh, repetitive and because it's repetitive it may not be nearly as interesting as you being able to break up your rhythms. As a performer, it's important to understand that, you know, that variety, that break inside of the rhythmic feel is, uh, allows us to do some really kind of interesting things to the notes, to the performance itself. It's not just a da 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 It is a ba 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 And that da 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 that eighth note attack allows us to maybe emphasize a little bit more or maybe pull off of it a little bit. There's also moments inside here where you have an eighth note kind of at the very end. So you have this da 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 ba 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 da 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 gives you a little bit of an accent on the, the end of the fourth beat. So it's a one and two and three and da 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 and those things are important for us as performers so that we can understand as we're playing any pieces as we're playing anything that we want to that we can have this rhythmic variation we can have these attack points that we throw in there to make things a little bit more expressive so that's really what i want you to take away as a performer is that ability to throw in a break when you feel like it and have it feel rhythmically sound 
Okay, so uh, for instructors, the new thing that we're adding here is the idea of the eighth note rest. We really didn't include that in the last couple of pieces that we had. We just had a bunch of quarter note rests or maybe even half note rests if it possible. But now we're adding that eighth note rest. And that eighth note rest includes a whole slew of new opportunities for rhythm to exist inside of music. And it's important for your students and your, uh, the people that you're teaching to understand that this eighth note rest really does play a really significant role in adding you know color to the rhythm variations that are out there it's not just a one and two and three and four in world where we can land on beats and have the beats happen and kind of guide us we can have breaks in those beats so instead of da 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 we can now have da 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 we can have those breaks that give us a little bit more rhythmic variety, a little bit more interesting ideas that are going along. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that thumbs up because that's going to tell us what type of content that you really like. Also, if you want to see tips and tricks about how to play the Native American wood flute better or watch more videos about new compositions that will help you increase your musical toolkit and help you improve as a performer, then subscribe to our channel because that's going to get our videos into your home feed as soon as we release them. Finally, we couldn't do this without our Patreon community. It's with the support of our patrons that we're able to compose new works and create new content like this that gets out to people who are interested in learning about how to better play the Native American wood flute. We love the Native American wood flute and we love being able to create new compositions to help people improve and get better. And it's because of people in our Patreon community that we're able to do that. If you want to learn more about our stuff on Patreon, visit patreon.com slash native music enthusiasts to see what we're doing and see what we're trying to give back to people who want to help support us. Thank you again so much for watching this video and we hope you learned something.